Learning objectives include how carbo carbohydrates are utilized for generating ATP and what is cellular respiration and what is fermentation. Mostly carbohydrates are um, used as a primary source of nutrients for most of the bacteria. And glucose is the most common, uh, commonly used carbohydrate for energy, um, as an, an energy source. Although sometimes lipids and proteins can also be used uh, as a source of energy by the bacteria. This slide shows carbohydrate metabolism. Glucose is used with the two uh, with the two stage processes. One is called cellular respiration and the other is called fermentation. Both usually start with the glycolysis as the first step, but then at the end, uh, <coughs> the, when the substance pyruvic acid is formed, uh, there is a split between the two uh, pathways or processes. Um, pyruvic acid is channeled then into Krebs cycle and that forms a cellular respiration. If it is channeled through another pathway, uh, it ends up in the fermentation uh, process. Here, with the glycolysis pathway, start with glucose, and the end product of glycolysis is pyruvic acid. In pyruvic acid, it is converted into acetyl-CoA, then acetyl-CoA gets channeled into Krebs cycle, and during this process, some ATP is formed, but there are lots of electrons extracted by the Krebs cycle during a metabolism of this acetyl-CoA. Lots of FMD and FMN are generated, which ultimately would be used by the electron transport chain to make ATP. But during fermentation, pyruvic acid is directly converted into some end product. And during that uh, process, this N NADH, which was produced during glycolysis, is utilized. And this hydrogen is utilized basically for the formation of uh, products and products during fermentation. And NAD is then available to be used again in this uh, glyco glycolysis pathway. Respiration of glucose basically is a three-step procedure. Uh, there's a glycolysis, then there's a Krebs cycle, and then there's an electron transport chain through which the electrons uh, go and ultimately result in ATP uh, synthesis. So most of the ATP uh, is generated in the last step of this respiration. This is a, a very brief overview of glycolysis. You would study uh, glycolysis and these metabolic pathways in your biochemistry course independently. Yeah, but this here is just a little overview of what glycolysis is. The glucose goes through various modifications, and the end product of glucose, as I mentioned earlier, is uh, one glucose molecule give rise to two molecules of pyruvic acid. And during this, two NADH molecules are generated. And, the, and the, during this process, also a limited number of ATP molecules, like two ATP plus some water, is synthesized here. In the Krebs cycle, which is uh, basically the oxidation of acetyl-CoA to carbon dioxide, uh, with the production of some ATP and some energy uh, containing NADH uh, and FADH2. These NADH and FADH2 are then channel, uh, channeled into electron transport chain to make more ATP. So pyruvic acid or pyruvate, it goes through the Krebs cycle and then is ultimately converted into carbon dioxide and water and during this process, lots of NADH and FADH2 molecules are produced. And then these hydrogen or electron captured during this process, they are used to make ATP, lots of ATP during uh, Krebs cycle, at the end of the Krebs cycle. This is another version showing uh, the Krebs cycle that acetyl-CoA get channeled. And then the, these molecules, they have various modifications. And during this, different uh, NADH and FADH2 molecules are produced, and these are then used by the electron transport chain.
to make uh, uh, ATP. This is uh, the slide which, uh, is, which also shows how this NADH captured during Krebs cycle is oxidized and it releases those hydrogen ions. This is a cytoplasmic membrane here, which is in bacteria, which is also called electron transport chain. As you can see, various those NADH molecules, they capture the, uh, the hydrogen ions, and then they release these hydrogen ions across the membrane. And then these hydrogen ions, they, when they built up there, uh, they then pass back to the uh, cytoplasm. And uh, ADP is converted into ATP molecules during this process. And this is the process which we call chemiosmosis. You can, you can watch here again that this is the oxidation of NADH. Two hydrogen ions are being pushed out. And similarly, the two electrons, they are pushed to the, to, to the next member within the electron transport chain. And those electrons are moving. And hydrogen, during every time uh, this interacts with another uh, substance in the, the, the chain, hydrogen ions are pushed out. And these hydrogen ions, when they built up here, they are then combined with ATP synth synthetase or synthase to create ATP molecule from ADP. And this process is also called chemiosmosis. During fermentation, this starts, with, as I mentioned, with the pyruvic acid uh, from the glyc glycolysis pathway. And it has no Krebs cycle, of course, and electron transport chains also missing. So ATP yield basically is all that we get in during the glycolysis pathway or glycolytic pathway. And it does not require uh, or, or use oxygen. So fermentation basically happens without the presence of oxygen. It does not need oxygen anywhere in the process. This is an overview of fermentation that glucose gets converted into three carbon-containing molecules. Those are pyruvic acids. Then pyruvic acid get converted into end product, which in this case here is electric acid or ethanol, just two examples. So different bacteria use these fermentation to produce uh, lots of uh, uh, chemicals for human use or for industrial use. In summary, glucose uh, basically is the primary source of, of energy for microbes. It doesn't mean that this is the only source. Uh, bacteria or microbes can utilize or use uh, proteins and lipids also. Uh, but if glucose is there, carbohydrates are there and glucose is there, they would prefer using it. Aerobic respiration involves three steps, which is first is glycolysis, then step cycle, and then those electrons that are captured during, they are put to electron transport chain and then ATP is derived. Fermentation is basically two-step uh, process where uh, the first step is glycolysis and then from the pyruvic acid, uh, end product is synthesized without involvement of oxygen. 